BWF Total Energies 2021 World Championships here. And we're live on court number two for the 10th match of today. And it's a men's singles clash between another Korean which is shown here, the 13th seed Lee Chip Yu. And he's up against the number three seed from Denmark, Anders Antonsen. Silver medalist last time, Antonsen, 2019 World Championships. And solid wins so far in rounds one and two for the third seed, Antonsen, and for Lee so far this week. The other part of this draw features Lee Zijia and Hans Christian Wittinghus. They've both been battling hard through the third games of every match they've played. So the winners will meet tomorrow in the quarterfinals. So the head-to-head's about to come up on screen, as always, 3-1 is going to read from Anna's Antonsen. And the coin toss, all important. Lee Chuk Yu wins that toss. And uh, elects the end of the court. Nearest us, bottom of our screens here. The man from Hong Kong will be starting the match. And we'll take a look at some of his stats now. Lee Chuk Yu, the third. 13th seed here, ranked 15 in the world, 25 years of age. And about 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10 in height. You can see they're reasonably comfortable, those first two results through this week. And the taller figure of Anna's Antonsen. Still just 24 years of age. At his career high in rankings at number three. And similar results to Lee in terms of straight games. 50 minutes it took to dispatch Vladimir Malkov in round one. And there's Mr. Chiapani again on court this time. Up in the umpire's chair. And Mr. Teo, of course, our service judge for this men's singles. So 3-1 the head-to-head, -head, as I mentioned briefly. But it was Lee Chiuk Yu that importantly won that last meeting. Ready to play! French Open that was, round of 32. In straight games as well. They once met in 2020 and twice in 2019. All three went to Anna's Antonsen, the Silver medal at last World Championships, lost out to Kenta Momota in the final two years ago. European Junior Champion in 2015 and then European Senior Champion this year, 2021, for Antonsen. But this man, very, very capable of an upset. An impressive 
tournament in Hong Kong, his home soil. Two years ago, I distinctly remember where he beat Shi Yu Chi, Kidambi Srikanth, and Anthony Ginting on the way to a win. What a week that must have been for him. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Anders Antonsen, Denmark. And on my left, Li Chek Yu, Hong Kong, China. Li Chek Yu to serve, level play. Well, plenty of support for both players here. One love. Inside the Carolina Marin Sports Palace. Smash around the head from Hansen. One all. been going wide. Hannah Zantinson taking no chances. Good block off the body. And he took you at full stretch. Three, one, two. Could do no more than block the shuttle black over the net. And as Antonson controls that backhand win. Antonsen. Four. One. Good attack from Lee. So he's over. Two, four. Pressure in that rear court and unable to control that drop shot. Cross out the back. So Three, 
Lee's missed another cross. Seven, Silva. Six, four. Just nodding to himself there, Lee Chuck Yu. Formulating some kind of game plan. Some of these attacking shots from each of you. As the music kicks in inside the arena, the next opponent for whoever wins our match here will be up against the winner of the match that's going on court one right now. Those two men are Hans Christian Wittinghus and Lise Gia making their way onto court. Nice from Antonsen. Making Lee late in that forehand corner. An obvious tactic, he's been doing it all match. That's gone wide. Lee take you challenges, go out. Challenge from Lee. shouting yes to himself. Clear sign that the tactics employed for this match are working so far. And it's Lee Chuk Yu making errors, mainly in attack actually. Controlling the pace of this rally. And what a straight winner from Antonsen. Ten, four, Defending for a moment, but otherwise just cruising around, keeping the shuttle in play. And biding his time. Superb. Great Eleven, shot making four, from Antonsen. It's nearly perfect here so far for the Dane. And seven points the lead at the mid-game interval. Two, twenty, second. 
Eleven four. Play. A wonderful start for the reigning silver medalist. A little nod to the coach, Antonson. I think he knows it's in, but he thought, well, why not? You never know. He's giving the shuttle back before he's even seen the result. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Good attack from Lee. Six, eleven. Good defence. And a fantastic Four, rally for Antonsen. Six. The attack from Lee was spot on, but the diving defence from Antonsen kept it alive. Big cross match winner from Anna Antonsen. Lee misses the net shot. 14, 6. The scoreboard cruising for Anders Antonsen. Big straight smash seven again. Fifteen, seven. So hard for Lee to defend. Antonson not missing these lines. And anything just a few inches short in the lift and Anderson, Antonson's punishing. Oh! Oh my God, unbelievable. What a shot for Alanis Antonson. Turned his back Six, almost eight, and just reacted, stuck the racket out and apologises to Lee for that moment of good fortune. Well, it's been a masterclass in game one so far for Anders Antonsen. Out. 
just long. Start is over. Eight. Eighteen. Great spinning that shot reply. Time is over. Nineteen eight. And too easy for Anna Sampson. Twenty. Game point. Lee Chuk Yu giving up the fight here at the end of this opening game. Anderson too far in, in the lead. Serve is over. 9 20. Good length on the lift from Antonsen. And well, really actually fighting back here. Trying to create some openings for himself. The lift short. And it's wide. Okay. End of game one. And there's Antonsen, the reigning silver Anderson medalist in full nine. control and in 17 minutes. He's taken the opener Second game, level, play. Anna Zantonson in charge of the match so far. In white at the bottom of your screens there. Let's see if this change of ends can bring about a change of circumstances for Lee Chuk Yu. Big smash winner. Inch perfect from Lee. Shot. 
Oh, it's perfect. On the line from Antonsen. Sound is over. One, all. It was brutal in the first game. Antonsen going into that deep forehand corner of Lee. Time and time again. Well, full commitment, but I don't think Hannah Dantonson made the shot. Great net reply from Lee. And Antonson almost ends it up on Lee's side of the court. Again, Antonson. Three, one. And the feather came off halfway through the rally. But look at this from Lee, what a net shot. And Antonson, unable to get anything onto that, it was so tight. That was called in from the line judge for a start. Lee put his hand up, expecting it to be called out, then wishing to challenge, but only really because Lee uh, Antonson was in the way, he couldn't see. But this was miles out. What a call from the line Election judge. Out. to win for Antonsen. And you can hear the mutterings of Anna Antonsen. Every time the shuttle drops wide on his side of the court. Almost like a pat on the back to himself for doing the right things, forcing these errors from Lee. be entertaining whether Hawkeye are able to to catch this shot it was almost a net kill slam dunk of a smash from about a foot over the net
Technical magic from Hawkeye. Interesting challenges so far. Playing the right shots, Lee Chuk Yu, just not as composed, not as consistent as his opponent, and the errors that are being leaked are on his own attack. Rally, this is. Seven. Five. Disappointing for Lee to end with a failed net shot. And he's winning the mid-court battle as well at the moment, Antonsen. Everything going his way today. Well, the interval in the game to Antonsen comfortably ahead once again 11-5 and he's in full flow out here on court number two today Cruising net so far in this match. Anna Zantons in every inch. The finalists we know from the previous World Championships. Perfection for Lee Chuk Yu. Big cross smash. 
that's how accurate you need to be to beat Anna Antonsen. On the run, Lee Chuk Yu, perfect from Antonsen. Constructing such a good rally, Anna Antonsen. That was the shot that did the damage. And had him on the run with this flat cross lift. Good tight net shot from Lee to get the lift. I thought he might go and cross, but instead he just took the pace off and went straight. That's out. And a big intake of breath from Lee Chuk Yu. He knows he shouldn't have missed that one. And the scoreboard draining away from him. Oh, good block from Antonsen. Good shot. Charlie Silva. Nine. Fifteen. Good. As Anderson trying to just control things with a neutral rally. Happy to let the rally go on, but perhaps he knows now Lee Chuk Yu is able to hit a few lines if he needs to when he's got plenty of time on the shuttle. Smash, but Anna Santonson is still there. Oh, a lovely cross net. Followed in. It's super from Anna Santonson. Look at this. So early. And nobody was going to get that back. Well, the luck on his side as well. Smash goes wide. And as Antonsen, mentally at least, can start to relax and enjoy this.
Time is over. 10, 18. Time is over. 19, 10. Forehand drive just over Lee's racket. And so confident today, Anna Zantensen. Ten match points. Well, he went for the spectacular. So it's over. 11, 20. Reigning silver medalist then, Game. with another match point. Confident display today. Very much on form. Let's walk by Anders Antonsen, 21-9, 21-11. And just 36 minutes it took for Antonsen to dismember Lee Chuk Yu from Hong Kong. Cross drop into the net. And there's Antonsen looking strong here in this event. We'll face the winner of Lee Zijia and Hans Christian Wittinghus, which is going on right now on court number one. But on court two, Anna Antonsen through to the quarters. 21-9, 21-11 in just 36 minutes. We've got more singles for you next. Don't go anywhere. Wang Ji-Yi is taking on, well, the, if there's somebody in form, it's this young lady, Ann Se-Young from Korea. That's coming up next on court two after these highlights. So Huelva in Spain playing host and it's the Palacio de los Deportes Carolina Marin Arena that's doing the hosting. 
here in Andalusia. As the sun sets on day number five of the world 